The Post on Church Point Road in Gonzales would like to invite everyone to their newly renovated events hall, a beautiful 9,600 square foot facility that features a 5,500 square foot main hall and a separate 600 square foot conference room. Renters have access to our huge kitchen, large stage, tables, chairs, bar, and covered outdoor cooking. So plan your next wedding, party, conference, and more at The Post on Church Point Road in Gonzales. Hello guys, it's Debbie. It's time. I've got a brand new location. 10510 Airline Highway, Baton Rouge, next to After Five Tuxedos. We have the perfect spot to get all your wedding and formal wear needs. Come see our one-of-a-kind name brand and get great prices. With 30 years experience, the best customer service anywhere. It's Debbie's Bridal, Airline Highway, Baton Rouge. See you soon. You could be driving. Honda has won more U.S. News and World Report awards than any other brand in the last decade. And now you can add another one to the list, being named the best car brand of 2022. Come get your Honda today at Louisiana's number one Honda dealer, Team Honda on Segan Lane. No one can stop me when I taste the feeling Nothing could ever bring me down Nothing could ever bring me down Taste the feeling Welcome as we start today's edition of the Clarence Bud Show. Here's hoping all is well with you and yours in your world. Since the last opportunity we had to spend a little time with you roughly some 24 hours ago. We start today's show talking about the expected cold front moving through our state this day. Reading from the website of the ABC affiliate WBRZ News 2 Louisiana. Uh, their meteorologists are telling us that quote, a cold front coming through today will make for a stormy afternoon. Temperatures will be in the 70s. Showers will start by mid-morning. As a matter of fact, just outside uh, of old school barbecue, got just uh, a bit of a rain shower moved in moments ago, so they're right in that regard. Around noon, storms are expected to organize, and each storm will bring the threat for gusty, potentially damaging winds and very heavy downpours. By the time the evening commute rolls around, they also advise the last of the storms will be working their way through. You're advised to have a way whether it's cell phone, radio, TV, what have you, um, to receive warnings in the event that the storms become severe in your area or the area where you are planning to travel. For our friends in the great state of Mississippi, the Mississippi counties around the state line are at the highest risk for severe storms. It's just a two out of five, which uh, equates to a light chance of severe weather. It is distinctly possible that in addition to all of the areas seeing rain, thunder, they're also expecting gusty winds that could reach up to 40 miles an hour. The evening commute, obviously, dispels bad news for you, so you already know the drill, guys, girls. You know where the low-lying spots are, where ponding, pooling of water can occur. You already know that got to have your headlights on when driving in the rain. That's the law in Louisiana. And common sense tells us reduce your speed, increase the amount of distance between yourself and the car in front of you. This is not our first rodeo, y'all. It is, it is what it is. So please govern yourselves accordingly. Now, in addition to this front moving through, you know what that means, right? On the back side of that front, it is Louisiana. It is that time of year. 
So that means when a cold front comes through, expect the temperatures to plummet. We are talking potentially down into the 30s uh, after this front moves through. And of course, that means in South Louisiana, when temperatures plunge that far, that fast, we're going to be struggling, many of us, to try and stay warm in our homes. Sadly, our state fire marshal's office, Butch Browning and the great group of folks in his office, uh, announcing this week we've had five of our fellow Louisianians to die in house fires in five days statewide. It is a sad occurrence when our fellow Louisianians lose their lives over something as simple as trying to stay warm. Uh, and please accept that in the spirit that it's given. It's one thing to say, well, it's a simple proposition to stay warm, but individuals that are, are economically depressed, uh, individual households that have only elderly residents in the homes, for them, it's a different chore for something as, quote, simple as staying warm. I cannot stress enough, guys, girls, first and foremost, to have a working smoke detector in your home. It um, unfortunately may be a bit late at this point with the front already coming through, but if you've not already done so, please contact the various fire departments where you live. Operation Save a Life uh, is what you want to inquire about. They are distributing close to 3,000 free, brand new smoke detectors to help save lives. Hence the name, Operation Save a Life. Now, when those temperatures drop, most people already know the parameters that we are supposed to operate under. For example, plug all of your heating appliances, space heaters particularly, directly into the wall. Don't plug them in to a power strip or an extension cord. You are dramatically increasing the probability that something will go wrong and you end up with a fire. Please, y'all, I know it's, it's easy. For many of us, it's convenient. And if you don't have a central heating system, your oven and your stove can probably generate more heat than anything else in your house. That is a recipe for disaster. Don't use the oven. I, I know it's convenient, it's easy, but again, you are increasing the possibility of a deadly fire. Also, candles, open flames, space heaters, don't leave them unattended. Yeah, but I was only out of the room for a minute. That's all it takes, y'all. That's all it takes. And on a day like today, when there is particularly inclement weather, it is absolutely the worst time for you to need emergency services. Traffic is probably going to be snarled. I mean, we can't drive when it's dry, so you know what it's like when you throw rain into the mix. Just imagine being a first responder trying to navigate your way through all of this weather-related traffic, and at the end of the day, they want to save lives. But the fact of the matter is there are circumstances involved that could hinder that. So if at all possible, y'all, do your due diligence and it is Louisiana, you know how we feel uh, about our neighbors, our friends, our relatives, our coworkers. Check on your neighbors. Uh, those of you that reside in a quote neighborhood, you already know what homes are occupied solely by elderly residents. You already know who your neighbors are, that have children or relatives that may be handicapped in whatever form or fashion. It's what we're supposed to do. It's what Louisiana folks do. 
check on them. Make sure that they have the things that they need to get through this. It, it's that time of year in, in South Louisiana, y'all. It, it's the roller coaster, the weather coaster. It, it's warm one day, freezing the next day, raining the day after that, possibly frozen precipitation the day after that. It comes with the territory. And by now, I would like to think the overwhelming majority of people watching right now know how to deal with these things. But the fact of the matter is, we lost five of our fellow Louisianians in five days in five separate house fires. Again, as you will often hear me refer to, there are a lot of things in life that are totally and completely beyond our control. Try as we might, we can't do anything about it. This should not be one of those things, y'all. We love our neighbors, our relatives, our, our, our friends, our coworkers. And it's times like these where just that little extra kindness can really go a long way. And, and at the end of the day, there is nothing more burdensome, nothing more tragic, nothing more personally hurtful than to lose a neighbor, family member, loved one, friend. And earlier that day, you had a thought. You know I need to check on so-and-so. I know they're elderly, they live alone, they're on fixed income, this weather's gonna be really challenging. I need to check on them. But for whatever reason, you didn't. I wouldn't wish that on anyone, having to carry that burden for the rest of their lives. Take a few minutes out of your busy day, and listen, I get it, I understand. Just getting back to work, things are starting to level out, COVID starting to hopefully be on its way out, trying to catch up with all these things, you're busy, I get it. But at the end of the day, these are people we love, y'all. These are people that folks from all over the world will tell you, man, those folks, they'll, they'll do anything for you. Well, let's live up to that. Let's take every opportunity to be sure that, sadly, the five Louisianians that we lost in just five days to five separate house fires, let's do our best to make those the last. First break of today's show. When we come back, lighten it up just a little bit. Talk about some Mardi Gras stuff. Well, light slash hope for the best. That's next. When we continue today's edition of the Clarence Bug Show, only on the Pelican. Stay close. Hi, I'm Bobby Yarborough with Manda Fine Meats. Here at Manda, we know what the folks of South Louisiana love. They love great flavored smoked sausage, delicious deli meats, and specialty items like boudin and andouille sausage. Manda Fine Meats has been providing these products since 1947. We produce them right here in Baton Rouge, so you know you're always getting the freshest product at your local grocery store. Manda Fine Meats. Taste the fresh local flavor in everything we make. Make it Manda every time. Bolello's Furniture and Appliances, your dependable independent. Depend on us for service, for selection, for price. Get huge Whirlpool savings. Shop now and save on Whirlpool appliances throughout the store. Plus, experience our price match guarantee and ask about special financing. You can depend on the know-how of people who live appliances every day. Bolello's Furniture and Appliances, your dependable independent with nationwide buying power. I owed the IRS $10,000. The IRS garnished my wages. They put a lien on my house. I'm self-employed and didn't report all my income. They claim I owe a lot more than I do. The IRS is the most powerful collection agency in the world. They do not give up until you pay. 
I couldn't sleep. We were being audited. I called Tax Solutions Now and a great big weight was lifted off my shoulders. I called Tax Solutions Now and they got the IRS off my back. Tax Solutions Now had my wage garnishment lifted in 48 hours. Tax Solutions Now can get you help. Our agents know the rules, can stop the pain, and get you the best deal. Tax Solutions Now saved my business. I qualified for the Fresh Start program. I paid less than I owed. We connect you with a team of former IRS agents and tax professionals who get the IRS off your back. Time is running out. Call Tax Solutions now. Call 800-778-4345. 800-778-4345. The Mazda CX-30. Named an IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus. Perfect for the journey ahead. Start your journey in a new Mazda CX-30. Right here at Team Mazda on Airline. Hi gang, Clarence Bugs here, inviting you to come by Old School Barbecue, 10655 Corsi Boulevard, where we tape the show live every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 11 o'clock. Come by and feast on news, sports, current events, love of God and country, and lots of common sense, along with some of the best barbecue anywhere on the planet. 10655 Corsi Boulevard, Old School Barbecue, home of the Clarence Bugs Show. Live and play on the fairway at Greystone Golf and Country Club, a serene, challenging golf destination located in Denham Springs. For tee times and membership opportunities, go to greystonecountryclub.com. Welcome back to today's edition of the Clarence Bug Show. It is uh, almost strange, but very welcomed at the same time. With the COVID pandemic wreaking havoc on so many traditions, entities, institutions, practices, uh, the whole nine, eventually a point comes where you emerge from that and you start the resumption of normalcy. For Louisiana, particularly South Louisiana, nothing fits that bill more so than the return of Mardi Gras. It is uh, one of those instances, what, what, what's the old adage, you don't know what you missed till it's gone. Uh, folks are so ready for Mardi Gras this year that I can't remember a time in recent memory uh, that would begin to equate to that. Here in the capital city, this weekend, Mardi Gras kicks in full bore. Coup of Artemis, 7 p.m. downtown Baton Rouge on February 18th. The Coup of Ocean, February 19th at noon uh, on Harding Boulevard in North Baton Rouge. The Crew Mystique de la Capitale, February 19th, 2 p.m., downtown Baton Rouge. The oldest, by the way, parading crew in Baton Rouge, family-friendly, as we do most, <laughs> wink, wink, Spanish town parades in Baton Rouge. Mid-City Gras, I'm sorry, Crew of Orion, February 19th, 6.30 p.m., downtown Baton Rouge. Mid-City Gras. February 20th, 1 p.m., North Boulevard at 19th Street, ending at BRCC. One of my favorites, Crew of South Downs, not until the 25th, 7 p.m., begins at Glasgow Middle and winds its way through the South Downs neighborhood. The Big Boy, Spanish Town, February 26th at noon. Lundy Gras, February 28th at 6 p.m., Government Street at the Electric Depot in Baton Rouge. By the way, for what is it now, Marty? I know it's over 20 years that Pelican Broadcasting has been handling the TV coverage of the New Roads Parades. Any idea exactly how many? I know it's more than 20 years. Don't know exactly how many. 20 plus years. Um, Forever. There you go. That's a safe bet. Been doing it forever. Um, if you happen to see the big truck, Pelican Broadcasting, uh, we love a wave, love a holler, 
Uh, you can tell us what shows you watch, whether it's Rocket Right with uh, Dr. K. Solar and Betsy Barnes or the Roger Cador Show or uh, Tiger's Roar, uh, the Clarence Bug Show, any of them. We'd, we'd love to see you guys and girls out. And, of course, the folks in New Roads, uh, you're not going to find a more hospitable group of people. I, I say this all the time, and I chuckle when I say it, but I mean it in the most loving way possible. One of the things I love most about the city of New Roads, when you drive around, people you've never seen before in your life, people you will never see again. You drive down the street, they wave at you. Now, <laughs> in Baton Rouge or New Orleans, you go to waving at people, you see them do like this, <laughs> you know. But in New Roads, completely different story. Hey, y'all, how you doing? It, it's uh, the quintessential example of small town America. And I uh, guarantee you, You'll have a good time when you go. And, and listen, y'all, that, that is not at the exclusion of any other small city Mardi Gras parades. Uh, my mom, God rest her soul, from Eunice, Louisiana. So my first inkling, impression, exposure uh, to Mardi Gras came by way of Mamou. And if you've never been as a Louisiana, Marty, you ever been to Mardi Gras in Mamou? Where they chase the chickens and, you know, have the big, um, oh, you were in New Roads. Yeah, there you go. Um, I forget what they call it at the end where they bring all the ingredients together to, to, to cook this huge jambalaya. But if you've never been, you need to take the time and go. Great folks in Mamou really salt of the earth wonderful people and uh, with the pandemic being what the pandemic has been uh, local economies are hurting so before you take that disposable income however much or little it may be make it a point to patronize some of the small cities uh, they would love to see you and who knows you just might fall in love with some places that you never even knew existed now a lot of you are going to have friends, relatives, former co-workers that are going to come to town for Mardi Gras. And obviously, you want to show them the best time possible. If you happen to be a fan, and who isn't? Well, I can think of a couple of people that aren't, but they really don't count. <laughs> Except that in the spirit that it's given, take them to a parade where they can see the, the human jukebox. Southern University's internationally acclaimed marching band will be in four different parades this year. The crew of Poseidon in Slidell, um, 6 p.m. The mystic crew of Femme Fatale, Sunday, February 20th. That's 11 a.m. in New Orleans. Crew of Bacchus, everybody's, one of, one of everybody's favorite parades. Sunday, February 27th, 5.15 p.m. in New Orleans. And speaking of new roads, I know that they are just chomping at the bit. The human jukebox will be in the new roads Mardi Gras parade. Now, the info that I have from the website BR Proud, the uh, NBC affiliate in Baton Rouge, says New Roads Mardi Gras Tuesday, March 1st at 11 a.m. in New Roads. Marty, that would be what? The, the Community Center Carnival Club of Point Capi. That's the early parade, 11 o'clock, followed by the Lions Club, uh, roughly 30 minutes to an hour after that. Don't know if they're going to, they being the human jukebox, if they're going to march in both the Lions Club and the Community Center Carnival Club Parade. Uh, they should, yeah, would be nice if they did, but I don't know what other obligations they may be under. So if you're there for the parade at 11, you'll get to see one of the best there. Well, no, 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 let me back that up. And y'all, please forgive me. You will get to see the best there is. Um, nothing against Sonic Boom of the South, Jackson State. Nothing against Ocean of Soul, 
Texas Southern, nothing against the sounds of dynamite, Alcorn State, but they ain't the best, and they ain't no jukebox. So when your friends come to town, take them out, show them a good time, and uh, enjoy yourselves. Now, speaking of <laughs> small town Mardi Gras and enjoying yourself and showing your folks that are coming in a good time. In Iberville Parish, because of the recent uptick in crime, they are letting you know ahead of time. We want you to come. We want you to have a great time. We want you to enjoy yourself. But there's going to be a heavy police presence just in case there are some who can't abide by the rules of a civilized society. I, I found a chuckle this week on one of our, our local, our CBS affiliate, WAFB, uh, Channel 9's website. There's a story there about Raheem Pierce. For those that don't know, he is a member of the city council there in Iberville. Iberville Councilman. And in conjunction with Brett Stasi, their fine sheriff there, let it be known let it be known in no uncertain terms. If you're planning to go to the parade, we'd love to have you. But leave the BS at home. And what 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 I found funny about it is that when the statement was made, leave the BS at home. I like his work. Lester Duhey was the reporter on scene, and he inquired, what do you mean by that? <laughs> leave the BS at home. I thought that was self-explanatory. You know, guns, beefing, weapons, uh, too much alcohol, leave the BS at at home because all you're going to end up doing is ruining a good time for everybody else and you might end up for the next I don't know three five ten years or longer changing residences to the Department of Corrections it's supposed to be a time y'all where we enjoy ourselves and God knows we need it we deserve it after all we've been through behind the COVID-19 situation. We deserve to get together the way Louisianians do and laissez les bon temps rouler. Just let the good times roll. Unfortunately, all it takes is one knucklehead, one or two, to get out there and ruin it for everybody. We're better than that, y'all. And we've been waiting entirely too long to enjoy this. So, as is usually the case, you are advised to govern yourselves accordingly. Bottom of the hour break. We'll get this out of the way. Talk a little bit more about a guy that's telling us now he's going to work like the devil to lower gas prices for you and yours truly. <laughs> Based on past experience, I'm not a betting man. But I ain't putting no money on this one. Just saying. Quick break and we continue. Today's edition of the Clarence Bug Show. Only on the Pelican. Stay close. Got termites? Get Premier Pest. PremierPestServices.com Driver assistance technology comes standard on every Camry model as part of Toyota Safety Sense. Setting the standard for safety every time you're on the road, no matter the destination. Save on your Camry today at Team Toyota, I-12 at O'Neill. Hi, I'm Katie, Operation Manager here at Old School Barbecue. We're excited about all of the changes here at Old School, and we'd like to invite everyone to come out and enjoy some delicious barbecue at Old School prices. 
We feature brisket, chicken, ribs, sausage, and the Boss Hog Pulled Pork Sandwich voted best deal in town. We also have live music Friday and Saturday from 7 to 10 p.m. 10655 Corsi Boulevard. We can't wait to see you. Hello guys, it's Debbie. It's time. I've got a brand new location. 10510 Airline Highway, Baton Rouge, next to After Five Tuxedos. We have the perfect spot to get all your wedding and formal wear needs. Come see our one-of-a-kind name brand and get great prices. With 30 years experience, the best customer service anywhere. It's Debbie's Bridal, Airline Highway, Baton Rouge. See you soon. Hi, I am Dr. Farrell Frugé, Jr., and I am a general dentist at Frugé Family Dentistry. I was born and raised in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I went to Catholic High School, LSU, and LSU School of Dentistry in New Orleans, where I received my DDS degree in 1986. I always have and will continue to be committed to continuing my education, to invest in technology, which makes the diagnosis and delivery of dentistry more thorough, more comfortable, and more aesthetically pleasing. In our practice, we are here to serve the patients. We want to improve their quality of life and to develop relationships with our patients. In dentistry, we have a chance to impact lives on a daily basis, not just by doing dentistry, but by getting to know them and being a part of their life. We also believe in giving back to our community. So every year, we give back to the Greater Baton Rouge Food Bank, Toys for Tots, and Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center. Please stop by and visit our office. We would love to take care of you and your family. Hurricane Betsy Barnes. And I'm Dr. Kay Siller with the Rocket Right Show. We are two busy blondes on the go showing off life in Louisiana. Watch us on Pelican Sports Network. And Talk 107.3 FM. Check local listings for times. Caught spiders. <laughs> Premier Pest Services. Welcome back to today's edition of the Clarence Bug Show. You ever find yourself in a situation where you need to describe something and there are so very many different labels, adages, what have you, that come to mind that you can't really settle on one? In this case, a whole lot of them come to mind. The BPE factor. I coined that phrase, by the way, which stands for based on past experience. There's also uh, in the vernacular of the streets, the one that says, whoop, watch out for the okie doke. <laughs> if you don't know white people what the okie doke is, ask your black friends, they'll fill you in. Then there's I've seen this play before, and I know how it ends. There's any number of them. I, I, I don't have enough time to tell you all the different ones that come to mind. But this week, speaking to the National Association of Counties 2022 Legislative Conference in Washington, D.C., Joe Biden announced, President Biden, quote, I'm going to work like the devil to get gas prices down, end of quote. <laughs> you gonna work like the devil to get gas prices down. When Joe Biden came into office, the average price for a gallon of gasoline was $2.37. Today, it's three forty-one, dollars with no end in sight. And keep in mind, we aren't anywhere near the summer driving season when prices always go up. You probably remember not long ago, same guy that's going to work like the devil to get gas prices down made a big old to-do about releasing, because he felt our pain, releasing 50 million gallons
much from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. Remember that? <laughs> they were hoping at the time that we would have forgotten or simply didn't know that the 50 million that they took from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, and yes, I do speak English, was the same 50 million that Donald Trump put into the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. Being the astute businessman that he is, he realized we're in the middle of a pandemic, nobody's driving, the price is the lowest it's ever been. So this would be a great opportunity to replenish our supply and do it at a price that will be the least disruptive to Americans' wallets. The Democrats lost their freaking minds. You care more about gasoline prices than you do about people's lives in the middle of a pandemic. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. But then they turn right around and take the same 50 million barrels that Donald Trump put in the Strategic Petroleum Reserve and released it, patting themselves on the back. See, we feel your pain. Look what we're doing for you. But there was a problem, y'all. <laughs> and just so you know, I'm not picking just on Joe Biden. His energy secretary was asked, okay, y'all gonna release these 50 million barrels. How many barrels of oil do we use a day in America? You know what the head of his agency, the energy agency said? Um, I don't have that number in front of me right now. So let me get this straight. You don't know how many barrels of oil we use every day. So how do you know what the impact is going to be? Well, hindsight is always 2020, and we now know. <laughs> In this grandiose announcement, because we feel your pain, gas prices actually went up. Why? Because those in the markets realized these clowns can't be serious. They released enough oil from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve to last us two days and a few hours. And of course, we all know how it's worked out since then. Still climbing, still climbing, still climbing. <laughs> Now, here's where get ready for the okie doke comes in because he feels our pain and he's going to work like the devil to get gas prices down. Democrats are now floating the idea of, well, here's what we can do. Let's suspend the federal portion of the gasoline tax for the rest of the year. You realize Every gallon of gasoline you pump, certain percentage goes to the federal government, certain percentage goes to state government. That's how we build our roads and bridges. That money is replenished every time you buy a gallon of gasoline. So they're now proposing to bring down the cost. Let's suspend the federal portion of the gas tax for the rest of the year. Sounds great at face value, doesn't it? Wink, wink, here's the problem. The federal portion of the gasoline tax generates every year right at $40 billion with a B as in boy. Have you ever, since you've been alive and watching TV, reading the news, on the internet, have you ever met a politician that would give up $40 billion in revenue? Now, I know y'all think they care about you. I know y'all think, but they feel our pain. 
Do you really think they're going to give up $40 billion in revenue? Now, these are the same folks, y'all. Build back better. Roads and bridges. Oh, they're in such horrible shape. But you're going to give up $40 billion that could go towards fixing these things? That's why I'm telling you, get ready for the okie doke. They're going to tell you one thing. <laughs> Sucker. It's going to end up being something else entirely. It's kind of like this week. <laughs> Did you hear this one? Joe Biden announced a moonshot on cancer. Let me tie it together for you. Remember the space race when we decided as a nation we can't let Russia beat us to landing a man on the moon. So we marshaled all of our resources to get there first. The moon shot. Well, come to find out in 2020, Joe Biden was head of the Biden Institute and their cancer research raised five million dollars to start the journey to find a cure for cancer. They ended up disbanding the Biden Institute after it was found out that of the five million dollars they raised not a single penny was spent on research. Well, where'd the money go, Clarence? To the salaries of the people they hired. Now, for me, it's personal. Because you've heard the moniker for our little slice of heaven, South Louisiana, called Cancer Alley. You, Joe Biden, and your organization hoodwinked, snookered, and bamboozled folks out of five million dollars with the expressed interest of curing cancer. Didn't spend a nickel on research. All of the money went to overhead. Rent on buildings, staff salaries, out of five million. And I'm supposed to believe now that you're going to do better this time around with billions of dollars. <laughs> really? If you believe that, you already know what I want to sell you, don't you? Yep. Yep, mountaintop, beachfront chalet in Bruley, Louisiana. Y'all know I love you in Bruley. Great town, great town, great town, all the way around. Watch for the okie doke. Because when you get suckered again, you won't be able to say that your buddy Clarence didn't give you the heads up. Just saying. Just saying. That in and of itself should make every alarm bell in your head go to ringing like it's no tomorrow. They're going to give up willingly $40 billion in revenue? <laughs> Again, I ask, when since you've been breathing have you ever seen a politician do that? Rest assured, if they do that, they're going to get it back on the back end with interest. Final break of today's show. We'll get her done, come back, put that big old pretty bow on this puppy, and wrap up today's edition of the Clarence Bug Show, only on the Pelican. Stay close.
You can't smell it, but you can almost taste it. And whether it's for a family get-together or a game day feast, having Manda in the mix always sounds good. For three generations, their quality meats and original seasonings have made Manda a Louisiana legend and made their family sausage Louisiana's family sausage. Manda Fine Meats. The flavor says it all. Live and play on the fairway at Greystone Golf and Country Club, a serene, challenging golf destination located in Denham Springs. For tee times and membership opportunities, go to greystonecountryclub.com. The Post on Church Point Road in Gonzales would like to invite everyone to their newly renovated events hall, a beautiful 9,600 square foot facility that features a 5,500 square foot main hall and a separate 600 square foot conference room. Renters have access to our huge kitchen, large stage, tables, chairs, bar, and covered outdoor cooking. So plan your next wedding, party, conference, and more at The Post on Church Point Road, Gonzales. Tremonti's has meat. Tremonti's has seafood. Tremonti's has much more. Tailgating and home gating platters. Huge wine and liquor selection. Beer and all the spices you need. Chairman Reserve and Wagyu meats. Ribeye rolls, shrimp rolls, kebabs. 20 flavors of sausage for the grill. Daily lunch specials and game processing. On-site catering also available. Good meat ain't cheap and cheap meat ain't good. Visit Tremonti's.com. Sometimes life is wonderful, and sometimes it's not. Cherish the good, but always be prepared for life's challenges. At Private Healthcare, we provide the peace of mind you deserve. With Private Healthcare, you'll get the coverage you want and healthcare you need. If your employer doesn't supply healthcare coverage and you don't qualify for Medicare or Medicaid, you need to give us a call right now. Private health care is private health insurance for ages 65 and under with medical, dental, vision, and even prescription coverage. When life comes at you unexpectedly, you need to be ready. And health insurance is your financial safety net. Health insurance has never been so easy and affordable. If you're looking for health coverage at the best price and your annual household income is $35,000 or more, call the number on the screen now and speak with a live health care consultant. Don't wait. Get the coverage you need now. Welcome back to the final segment of today's edition of the Clarence Bug Show. You know, um, life has taught me that, among other things, you can tell a lot about individuals, about how and what, how they run. I'll, I'll let it suffice at that. Meaning. The brave men and women that populate law enforcement and emergency response teams here in our state and all across the country, when there's a disaster, we, lay people, typically run away from the problem. It's those extraordinary individuals police officers, firemen, paramedics, the military, that run toward the problem. There's a very distinct line between the character of individuals that run away from a problem and those that run toward the problem. If you were wondering whether or not the powers that be are listening and reading the writing on the wall, wonder no more. America in recent memory, due to those on the left, Democrats and the mainstream media, we have watched things happen in our country 
that don't sit well with us. Things attacking the very fabric of this republic, our way of life, and our social norms. And as a result, you've heard me mention this before, how politics and society in this country is like a pendulum. It will swing, and y'all keep in mind, this is the exact opposite on television, so when I do it one way, it's actually the other way, but I digress. The pendulum will swing to the left, in which case you're right, then it will swing back to the right, in which case you're left. And eventually, after all that energy has been expended in either direction, it settles in the middle. The Democrats, because of their policies, the damage done to this country, and more important, the anger and resentment that continues to build in this country because of what the Democrats have and are doing is easy to see. Maybe that's why Representative Kathleen Rice, United States Representative, Washington, D.C., announcing this week that um, I think I'm going to retire. <laughs> Keep in mind, just two years ago, she won this seat by 13 points. In political reality, that's a beat down. When you whip an opponent by 13 points, oh, you took that so-and-so to the woodshed. And two years later, uh, I, I, I think I'm going to retire. By the way, Kathleen Rice's retirement announcement now brings to 30 the number of Democrats that are going to leave the United States House of Representatives at the end of their term. Now, taking into account, some of them may be elderly. You know, I spent my whole life serving people, and uh, I want to raise my grandkids, or I said that I was only going to stay a certain amount of time, and now it's time for a different chapter in life. I, I, I get all that. But when 30 at one time decide uh, I, I think I'm going to sit the next one out. And rest assured, this ain't going to be the last one. Sorry, English teachers, I didn't give you all the heads up on that one. They are seeing the handwriting on the wall. Now, for my fellow conservatives, those who feel disheartened, downtrodden at times because you feel like that voice crying in the wilderness. You see all the lunacy, the idiocy, the downright stupidity that folks on the left are pushing in this country. You feel as though there's no hope. Well, I beg to differ. America being the great nation that it is, has this propensity to watch. And despite what the mainstream media would have you believe, you know the real truth. And many of us, as a result, can't wait until the next election to do our part to fix this. The Democrats see it coming, y'all. They know it's coming. And when it arrives, they will have no one to blame but themselves. Now, that being said, <laughs> speaking of watch out for the okie doke, they are going to attempt the left, Democrats slash progressives, 
they are going to attempt to change the narrative on everything between now and the next election cycle. They're going to tell you, as Nancy Pelosi did this week, that inflation is actually a good thing. They're going to attempt, as Jen Psaki laughably tried to convince us this week, that it's not that big a deal, you know. I mean, Americans, by and large, are doing pretty well. <laughs> They're going to attempt to tell you all these cities setting all-time records for homicide, crime is not really that bad. And when they can't convince you of these things, they're going to go out of their way to hide things from you. Well, what do you mean they're loading illegal immigrants on airplanes just about every night in the dead of night and flying them to places that nobody knows they're coming and nobody knows what happens to them after they get off the plane. It's how they operate, y'all. And ironically, speaking of how they operate, they're the ones that will preach to you about transparency. Ooh, thank you, Marty. Remember the line? Joe Biden, I will have the most transparent administration in history. Now, as much lying as Joe has done in his 40-some years in politics, he was partially right with that statement on one thing. You are transparent, Joe. You and Kamala and the rest of the Democrats you're transparent, not in what you allow us to see, but the mere fact that we can see straight through you. Just like you transparent, we know what you're about. We know what you're trying to do. And until every breath leaves this body, there are those of us who will fight it every step of the way. I hope that's transparent enough for you to understand. Weather's getting bad, y'all. Take care of yourselves. My time's up and I gotta go. But this day, maybe more so than any other in history. You know what? I give it to you. You're right. America, we ain't perfect. But for this old boy's money, it's the best there is. And God knows there's no place else on his green earth that I'd rather be. Speaking of the good Lord, you realize he loves you, right? And I hope you know that I do too. Then again, really don't matter because <laughs> there ain't a doggone thing you can do about either one. Love you much. God bless. Appreciate you, brother.